everybody, we've got a guest here with us today. This is Stuart, Scottish Wanderer. Check him out on YouTube if you haven't already. Uh, I've invited them along here for a Christmas dinner, bushcraft style at my bug out camp. And uh, he's told me I have to do the dance as well yet again. So this might be the last time you're ever going to see it from me. <laughs> but uh, shall, we, shall we show him a little surprise? Oh yeah, I've, I've been practicing a new dance here. So. Christmas dinner, Christmas dinner. <laughs> Bushcraft style turkey breasts over the coals, get them grilled up nice and smoky. It'll add that extra side to it for what we do here. Of course, we've got the trimmings of carrots, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and even a little bit of caramelised onion chutney for extra flavour. I like stuff like that. Uh. So, uh, The fire's settled down, folks. The coals are well established. We'll be getting the cooking on shortly. But uh, Stuart is very famous on his channel for many spam recipes. Well, actually, it's spam. I know it's in a tin, it's a type of meat. It? It's, it stands for S for special, I think. That's me, special. But not the special way, I mean, as in simple way. <laughs> <laughs> special. But, yeah, uh, special. Uh, is it processed American meat? Maybe it's specialised, whatever it is. The meat's undetermined, nobody knows what the meat is. It could be anything. A bit of cow, a bit of horse, a bit of this, who knows? Uh, something that I remember as a child, uh, growing up, you get a piece of spam, things like that. But never in my wildest dreams have ever heard of anyone cooking it, frying it. And for us Scots, we do like everything quite fried in ways. Uh, we're the number one for heart disease in Europe. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, we do like fried, but spam's a new one, that's coming soon. Uh, but we've no spam meat today, but we do have something special Stuart's brought. Got a can of spam. <laughs> I was in the shop with my son yesterday, and I seen a can of spam. So I thought, why not? Living on the edge, sometimes I feel like that's me. So I thought I would introduce it to Mark and he could try it. We've already had some. This smells like an energy drink. Yeah, <laughs> Tastes nice. Yeah, that's okay. I like the monster ones. Um, for anybody that's not on my channel, I used to be a lot heavier than I am now. So I've lost like two stone or something. Yeah, but but yeah. I normally I get the sugar free stuff because I'm a bit dying with about the sugar. I forgot to tell you, I'm not supposed to take sugar. Uh, <laughs> but no no jokes, right? I, I did have a I had a coffee, right? And one of my subscribers says I've had two sugars. <laughs> it's Ken. Sweet enough, you don't need to. If Ken's watching, yeah, I had two sugars, Ken. <laughs> Get a lot more now. <laughs> mm. See, when I was away camping, I was talking to this guy and he was saying he had this campfire cookbook and he got it from Dobie's. And I'm like, oh yeah, I've got that as well. 
I buy things like that just to get like a couple of little ideas, don't you? Oh yeah, definitely. My wife says I think I'm Jamie Oliver, but I wish I was, but I'm not. I wish I knew a lot more about cooking. But I enjoy it. It's, you've got to enjoy. Yeah, I think I'm enjoying it more now thanks to starting to do this, but there's a flavour on the bushcraft cooking that isn't even there anywhere else. Yeah, I think, I, I, honestly I do, I love just to come out in the woods and uh, just do a bit of cooking. Even just come and see, just come and sit under your shower, man. You don't just feel it so... Oh, very belong. Yes, no joke, I was in the woods one time, just sitting, right? And this big deer came running past me. I wish I had that in a camera. But, yeah. Well I'll try and get this little robin red breast that keeps coming about. I think I got them in the last video pretty well. Yeah, I know I've seen that when we came in. It's my wee part. that little robin. Straight away you notice things like that when you're in the woods. You've got that stillness, the peace. No distractions with phones and computers. You can hear no. them tweeting away the now. Yeah. But the, ro the robin, the little robin will be back. He takes a bath over there. He comes up close by and sits in the roof of the shelter and things. I think he likes the fire. <laughs> yeah, he's probably used to seeing you in here, isn't he, Mark? Aye. Means there's no danger. I know the deer, the woods that I go to, the deer. Yeah, I must be that used to it. And I must smell, probably. See, when you do this kind of thing, all your stuff starts to smell of campfires and... Yeah. But uh, as soon as I bring it out of my bag, it smells of campfire. <laughs> my wife's not going to be happy that my Christmas jumper's smelling of smoke, but to me it's like it's like aftershave. <laughs> but yeah, that's the potatoes ready. So, will I chop them up, Mark? How do you, how would you want them? A quarter or whatever, quicker the, the more they're sliced, the easier to quicker the boil, eh? So, will we just uh, cut them into four? Or any more? Aye, go with it. I don't know what you mean by smoke, you just mean by putting them on there? Oh, if they're not boiled, I will boil them all. I'll boil them, right. The veg is certainly ready. Just gonna get this off. Time to get the steaks smoking. Can't be campfire cooking if we ain't getting them on the grill. All I'm really thinking what I normally do is they don't always cook the greatest just like this only. But see if you give them a few minutes just to get the smoke with the flavours, then 
do the rest in the pan or vice versa. Yeah. That's when you normally notice the difference because it's well charred now that grill. But we'll keep uh, we'll keep the veg close by you on the heat. That's good thinking. Mark. Oh, that smoke it's flavouring already. I'm glad I bring Mark. Still think you're the better cook? <laughs> Yeah, I think Mark's better, but... Just an idea, it might not work, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll look at that over. Let's keep the lid on this. gravy in the titanium pot, veg is just keep nice and warm, turkey is more or less done, just get a nice seat before serving and uh, enjoy. <laughs> Let's dig in. Yeah, sir. Oh yeah, the chutney. Yeah. Oh, that gravy sticking up good. Oh, I can smell for you. Oh, it's just a uh, chicken gravy. I think I'm gonna be really hard to beat, so this will be different. Onion chutney. Red onion. It's good just getting those extra flavours. You ever chucked it before? Yeah, yeah. Not that brand one, but it's introduced to stuff like this. It wasn't really something I've tried with me in recent times. Ah, I see that like some of these kind of chucked it. Oh, oh, I'm a convert, I love them. You say grace, Mark? Of Mark course. Can, Mark can say grace. Yeah, you like the grace on there, nice gesture again. Thank you Lord for this food we have received from my bounty. I ask you to bless the food, bless it, make us whole, bless our families, our friends, our viewers, and uh, give us a peaceful world to live in, all the better, and a prosperous, happy new year to come. Merry Christmas guys, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas everybody. Carrots are better. I'll convert it to the frozen stuff and spray as soon as it's picked it's in the mm. Yeah. Ho ho ho! So here we are guys. It's our Christmas video for you, the subscribers and viewers. We just want to thank you for tuning in again. Uh, we've done this very much uh, deliberately for yourselves. Uh, so please enjoy. Uh, but the, the gravy, the turkey, which was smoked over the hot coals, beautiful. Red, the onion chutney giving it a new flavour. And the veg is just full of flavour. It's lovely. I don't, honestly, I'm not just saying it, but the best cooking... Oh, it's good, yeah. The best cooking I've ever had is over a campfire. Not a barbecue, not fancy restaurants, although some of them are lovely. But the flavour that just come off this, it's, I don't know if your taste buds get used to the air outside as well. And it all blends, but there's just something beautiful. Yeah, you just can't beat coming out. Well, thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, well, thanks for inviting me, Mark. All the best for the new year. Yeah. I'm enjoying this turkey here. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's all healthy. It's all healthy.
it's not polite to eat with their mouths full. <laughs> so all the best for the new year. Have a great Christmas. Blessings to yourself and your families and friends. God bless.